welcome to my YouTube channel, Kamal's Biology. Today, I am here to talk and discuss a very important topic that is COVID-19. The disease that is caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2, SARS, coronavirus 2. And uh, this topic is very, very, very important because currently this disease is pandemic. The virus is scattered throughout the world and all the world is in lockdown. And still the virus is out of control. Various types of resources. There are many resources undergoing. We have understand various important uh, things about the structure of virus, about the incubation period, uh, mode of transmission, about the genome of the virus, many things. And uh, the vaccines are at the last stage. Maybe after two or three months, we will be able to get the vaccine. But here is some important things that uh, I want to say uh, during uh, my presentation. So friends, let me begin the things related with COVID-19. Okay, look at the diagram here. Look at the diagram, the structure of the virus. You can see the board-like structures crown like structures that are coming out of the envelope and there are yellow and orange pigments so these are the the crown like structures that are coming out from the envelope are glycoprotein so this is a glycoprotein and we will denote this one from s because this is a spike and you can Note this one as M protein, membrane protein, and this one is a envelope protein. So these are the proteins, and inside this envelope there is a genome, RNA, positive sense RNA. I think it is very easier for you to understand about the structure in the next slide. Okay, look here. You can see. The virus that is containing RNA and this RNA is positive sense RNA okay coronavirus is a positive sense RNA virus and the RNA is covered with the protein coat now it is covered with a protein coat the protein coat is known as capsid and the symmetry of the capsid is helical. So it is helical symmetry and again you can see an envelope that is covering the genome, RNA genome, the nucleocapsid of the virus. RNA genome plus protein coat is known as nucleocapsid and that nucleocapsid is now surrounded by the envelope actually this envelope is derived from the host cell during the broad during the budding process it arises from endoplasmic reticulum or golgi apparatus this virus okay and you can see the envelope which is crown like in, in structure due to the crown like structure that is given by spike glycoprotein as the name of this virus is derived and it is termed as coronavirus again you can see in envelope protein the protein that is Attached in the membrane, this envelope protein, and another one is membrane protein that has passed from the 
इनवेलो पॉस्पोलिपिट बाइलियर नाउ After knowing this structure, it is very easy for us to understand by the way the virus goes and attacks with the receptor that fits with the spike glycoprotein S. Now, my friends, look at this diagram. Here you can see the novel coronavirus that is at first found in Wuhan, China in December 2019. Because it is a new type of coronavirus, so at first it is known, because of this reason, it is known as novel coronavirus. And the most important thing that you have to note from this slide is that the receptor in which the virus attacks by its spike S the spike S is also divided into two subunits, S1 and S2. Note that S1 is the part by which this coronavirus attach with angiotensin converting enzyme to S2. This is the point, this is the receptor that we have to know where coronavirus can get the entrance it love angiotensin converting enzyme 2 containing cell and note one thing that this virus is now known to come from bat we jumped into the pangolin and from there because of mutation it is now able to cause infection to human beings it is the point because the genome the rna of this virus is similar more than 95 percent the genome of this virus is similar to that of the bad virus so we can say that it may have jumped from that bat again to the pangolin and then finally due to mutation it was able to attach itself with the receptor angiotensin converting enzyme 2 please friends note this receptor s2 now what is s2 receptor and where it is found it is found in lungs blood vessels liver heart kidney gastrointestinal tract in the epithelial cells now you can easily understand that it is also found in nose mouth and lungs epithelium so friends who will be affected what will be the consequences where the virus can multiply you can easily find at first when the droplets containing many viruses come out from the infected person during sneezing the virus will scatter the droplets will fall in different substances it can fall in papers cellulose containing substances steel metals plastic and many other substances now there is uh, many research that had uh, given the report that this virus can become infective can remain alive in infective form about five days in newspapers it means papers so i can say that this virus can remain as a viron in infective form in money that is made from paper for five days now in plastic about four days in metals it depends on the type of metal 
around 24 hours to 48 hours. So when an infected person touches those surfaces by his contaminated hand, when we shake hand, now this virus can again attach by the protein, glycoprotein and, and the protein components in our hand and in other substances. And when the healthy man come in contact, direct contact, then from after having his hands contaminated with this virus, if he toss his nose, mouth, then that virus can go inside the nose, mouth and multiply in the epithelium and also reach the lungs. And not one cell that is, look here, the most important term. Now this is type 2 pneumocyte. There are type 2 pneumocytes in the alveoli of the lungs. Now note this point please friends. This is the part that is very very important for us. Note this one. This one alveoli friends. This alveoli contains type 2 pneumocytes and this type 2 pneumocytes have abundant S2 receptor in which the spike of the virus can get attached. The first step that is required for the virus to get in trance to recognize the cell where it can go and infect. And S2 is a vital element in biochemical pathway that is critical to regulate blood pressure wound healing and inflammation and the system is known as renin angiotensin aldosterone system ras system ras pathway this is the pathway that is now disturbed by coronavirus note that the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is now depicted in this slide look here friends to maintain the blood pressure the various organs that take important place role are liver lungs kidney you can see the arterioles blood vessels now you can see angio Tensin and angiotensinogen that is converted to angiotensin first, and then this angiotensin first is converted to angiotensin second by S2 angiotensin converting enzyme. So these AC S2 are found in these organs because of this reason. These are the organs that are highly infected with coronavirus. So at first, you can see there is the destruction of type 2 pneumocytes due to which you will suffer from pneumonia and suffocation. Now, your kidney, you may suffer kidney damage, renal failure. Blood pressure will not be controlled, not be in control. Your heart will now out of balance. You, you will die by respiratory failure. You, your liver will not do the functions in appropriate manner. Your kidney, blood vessels, heart, everything will be now disturbed. If there is no appropriate well managed defense that is done by the adaptive adaptive that is done by innate and adaptive immune system my friends note the point our in immune system is very important okay <clears throat> now look here 
SARS coronavirus 2. Okay. Researcher, researchers could source libraries of existing drugs that didn't work for conditions like Alzheimer's disease but could still be effective against COVID-19. Look here. Okay. This is the point that I think this has uh, been noted here because those uh, drugs which cannot be used for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease that is related with uh, brain okay alzheimer disease in which uh, the neurons of uh, the infected person will be destroyed because of that reason he will slowly forget the things that has happened in his life and finally at last he will die and those drugs can now it is a thought that that drugs may uh, provide some support to the person suffering from COVID-19. This is the point that I do not uh, want to uh, discuss here. But note this one. This one TMPRSS2. Transmembrane serine protease 2. This is also very important. This protease enzyme. Because it has a very important role. During attachment penetration uh, of the virus. Okay. And... Uh, the role can be well discussed in next slide. Okay, friends, look here. Now, the replication process of the virus can be well described from this slide. Look here, SARS coronavirus 2, that has the receptor ash, that sorry, that has a spike glycoprotein and it, has a, it, it attaches with S2 receptor with the help of TMPRSS2 transmembrane you can see the name of the enzyme transmembrane serine protease transmembrane ser uh, serine pro uh, protease that helps to cut the spike of coronavirus the spike of coronavirus can be divided into S1 and S2 it is the S1 part by which the virus attaches with the S2 receptor and with the help of S2 the virus can now fuse with the the virus can now fuse with the cell membrane of the host and after that this virus can enter by the formation of endosome in the presence of furin cathepsins so this is a cathepsin dependent pathway by this way it can go inside the cells containing s2 receptor and there is another way also there is another way that is cathepsins independent in which virus can release its genome after the fusion of s2 with the cell membrane that is independent to cathepsins and release the viral genome. Now friends look here. The virus now release the enzyme. Sorry, by the virus now release its RNA that is positive sen sense RNA. From this, this virus is able to make PP1A and PP1AB. These are the proteins enzymes that forms replication transcription complex by the help of this the virus can now make negative sense rna from positive sense rna at first virus makes its enzyme okay that helps in transcription process from, from the process, the virus makes genomic negative sense RNA and from negative sense RNA, the virus can make more and more positive sense RNA. They can make positive sense RNA as well as the negative sense subgenomic, this RNA, okay, this 
this is the RNA negative sense they are making here 5 prime to 3 prime positive sense RNA as well as by translation process they can make different subgenomic messenger RNA viral structure and accessory transcripts okay and by this this is the place where there is ribosomal frame shifting and from single RNA the virus can now make many viral structures and accessory proteins this is possible due to, due to ribosome, ribosomic frame shifting that I will discuss in another slide after that look here the important place where there is the attachment of membrane protein spike and in envelope proteins they are now assembled in endoplasmic reticulum the genome now enter in this cob like structure present in endoplasmic golgi intermediate complex and now this genome is inside and the spikes are coming out of the membrane that it has derived from endoplasmic reticulum and golgi in uh, and endoplasmic reticulum golgi intermediate complex okay the envelope is derived from here and it forms a vesicle it, it remains inside the vesicles and with the help of exocytosis process the virus the new virus comes out of the cell in this way the single virus can make many other SARS coronavirus too during this process there are various places in which we can block we can check the virus from its development and protect the infected person this will be discussed in the next slide but uh, let me so, uh, uh, mention some points also because this is also very important look here anti-spike antibody it means covalent serum the person who has already infected with SARS, uh, SARS coronavirus 2 and they are now healthy they recovered from that uh, disease their uh, serum uh, may have their serum have antibodies that uh, that can fight with the pers uh, that can fight with sars coronavirus 2 because it is the antibody that has to neutralize the antigen so the serum of that person contains igg antibody that now can be used as the used for the treatment of infected person so another one is endocytosis inhibitor chloroquine and hydroxyl chloroquine can be used it is written but i will not suggest to use these drugs without the advice of the expert because these drugs has negative effect negative side they, these drugs have side effect also so please note this one even though president trump has told to use hydroxychloroquine uh, in one of his uh, interview i will not suggest to take these drugs without the advice of exports because there is a side effect of this virus i personally think that this chloroquine hydroxychloroquine these are the anti malarial drugs and you know that uh, uh, malaria uh, is a disease that infect uh, our red blood cells uh, as well as uh, liver liver also so note this point also and there is one place inhibition of s1 s2 cleavage by this one is transmembrane carrying protease enzyme so this is a place in which we can stop the activity of this enzyme by which we can check the virus so that it cannot enter in our 
cells containing S2 receptor. Again, there is a place, the blockage of replication here, there is a place, and you know that there is the formation of replicase, RDRP, okay? This is very important part, formation of replicase here, not this one. If we can check this step, then we can protect the person, the uh, person who are infected with this virus. And uh, there is one antiviral drug, not this, I love this drug. This drug is rem, Remdesivir. Remdesivir is a drug. This drug is very important. And lot of countries has given permission to use these drugs in the treatment of person who are severely infected with the novel coronavirus. Another one is Rivavirin that inhibit viral protease, protease. But this one is the drug Remdesivir which has been proved to be effective by various countries, by many country, countries. So innate immune, uh, immune response. So you can see here interferons and many other chemicals uh, which can fight, which can interfere with the replication of this virus, okay? Now you can go and look the part that describes about interferons and other effectors. Similarly, uh, there are enhancer of antiviral innate immunity means those products that improve the activity of innate Im immunity only treatment with interferons or interferon inducers. These are the things. Blockage of interferons antagonistic. So there are interferons which support the innate immunity. Both interferons not only supports the immune system. There are some interferons that do unnecessary activities also that will make the case more severe okay note this point and this is the cytokine storm and these are the chemical mediators you can see here that cause inflammation because of this excessive cytochrome storm actually this brings the problem this is the main problem because of this, the unnecessary immune activities finally destroy our nemocytes, type 2 nemocytes of the alveoli. And person suffers from pneumonia, severe pneumonia. And his respiratory system will collapse and finally the person will die. So unnecessary activity of cytokine cytokine storm should be blocked checked so friends look here i have explained most of the things here so cytochrome cytokine storm is a thing that we have to stop to protect the person from destroying his type 2 pneumocytes I think I have explained most of most of the points that I have to discuss in previous slides. So let me move at next slide. So these are the symptoms that we can hear time and again in different news. I think I do not have to waste my time describing and uh, uh, telling you about uh, the sign and symptoms, but. Uh, uh, the most important uh, thing that you have to note is the fever, uh, loss of appetite, fatigue. You can also uh, find, and most of the people who uh, people who has infected with the virus has already told that they, they have uh, lost the uh, lost their smell, they have lost the taste, uh, shortness of breath, they have cough, many things you can see, and they say muscle ache. Okay. These are the things uh, in severe condition you can uh, find uh, uh, these signs and symptoms. So friends, please, uh, 
you can easily understand the, this one so the thing that should be uh, note that should be uh, taken as a note from this uh, presentation is about remdesivir so our government should know that should remdesivir is abundant in our country or not are there experts who know about the antiviral agents that are interferons so how well is covalent plasma that contains antibodies against sars coronavirus 2 is used so we have to note how many persons infected with coronavirus are already overcome the virus and they are living a healthy life because they can donate their plasma to the person who are infected severely with sars coronavirus 2 look at the drug remdesivir please note this one so this is dexamethasone dexamethasone actually this is the drug that i love because this dexamethasone treatment is recommended by the national health service in uk and national In institute of health in us for patients with covid 19 who are mechanically ventilated or who require supplement oxygen but are not mechanically ventilated dexamethasone is not recommended in patients with covid 19 who do not require supplemental oxygen or hospitalization it means that a lot of research has been done because of many trials it is now approved means it works for people people suffering with covid 19 but these drugs also may have side effects so it is better to consult the experts how much dose should be used okay and you can see the structure of hydroxychloroquine and uh, i do not refer to use this hydroxychloroquine because uh, clinical trials conducted during 2020 found it is ineffective and may cause dangerous side effect but still it can work in some limited uh, person suffering with covid 19 so very very experts are needed whether to use these drugs drugs or not so i do not recommend this drug this is also anti-malarial drugs so men are the source of this virus now and only man can break the chain if they all follow the simple rule at the same time for the same period of time if i am in and other persons are out this will not work isolation means people all around the world should be locked they should keep themselves locked for 40 days and this can be maintained if the government and people cooperate with each other without this it is very difficult and it is not possible bye bye stay safe stay healthy